Hi, my name's Steve Ling from PC Paramedics. Today I'd like to show you how to configure uh, a Netgear wireless router. For the Netgear wireless router, we have a number of components. The main component is the router. This is the device that used to be known as a modem. It enables multiple people to use a single internet connection to connect to the internet. So that is the router. It has its own power supply. And on top of that, we have some configurational information, a CD, two cables, totally different cables. This one, the yellow one here, or it could be multi multiple colors, uh, is known as the ethernet cable. That's the cable that connects the router to the PC. And the second cable is the telephone line cable. That connects the router to the telephone line and brought, therefore broadband. And the last part we need is also in the box known as a microfilter. And you'll see on the microfilter there are two connections. The router connection here designated as modem and the telephone connection. So you can have your ordinary telephone still plugged in and also your broadband router plugged in. And this is the clever little device that enables you to use both at the same time. You can be on the internet and talk on the telephone. So, the first thing we're going to do is to connect the router to the PC. For that, we have a number of connections on the back. This is the telephone line connection, and it's of a different size and style to the four ethernet ports. So here we can have four static devices connected to the router, and as it's a wireless router, we can have up to 13 other computers connected wirelessly to this one. So first of all, we're going to take our ethernet cable, and we're going to connect that into one of the ports. Then we're going to take our telephone cable, and we will connect that to the telephone port on the router. Take the other end of the telephone lead and plug it into the appropriate port on the microfilter. We're now ready to go. We now take the ethernet cable and connect it to the ethernet interface port on the back of the PC. Easy to locate, it's of the same shape and size as your ethernet cable. And our port is located just here, and it's a simple click to plug in. We then can plug in our mains, and connect our mains into the router. The router will then start to do its stuff. Last part is to connect the telephone lead and the microfilter into the BT telephone socket. On this particular brand of Netgear, it's the Range Max version of that, uh, that particular product, and these LEDs are showing which antenna is in use. The Range Max product gives you greater range around the house. So if you've got a larger house or you've got a particularly difficult house with, say, foil back plasterboard, this particular device will find the best possible signal path. And the blue LEDs are showing which antenna is in use at the time. So we've now connected our Netgear router. Um, we're ready for the next phase, which is the installation and configuration of the Netgear router.